Alright uh, boys, we're through to the next round of the FA Youth Cup. How's that feel for both of you? Well, I think, I mean I've had this group now for a couple of years. and For two years on the trot, they've obviously looked at our 18s playing in the FA Youth Cup. Uh, they've aspired to play in there themselves. Uh, they've seen us get through to Ipswich in the second round, which two years ago was the first the club's been. We saw what happened last year against uh, Gosport. So they, they've seen both ends um, and know what could have happened this evening. So for them to get the opportunity to play and then be successful and get through, I think um, I'm really pleased for them. I'm very pleased that we get another opportunity in the FA Youth Cup. Uh, and I'd also uh, like to say that we've managed to do it as a squad with support from boys who obviously on the bench tonight didn't get on, but were incredibly supportive. Boys that haven't made the squad tonight as well, turning up to watch. I think uh, it's a demonstration of the camaraderie that we've got in the group. And uh, I'm so pleased that they'll get another opportunity uh, in the next round. Obviously, all, all, as a team, we're delighted. Uh, it's always been like a goal for us, even since we come up from before the scholarship years through to the scholarship years. Obviously, seeing what happened the year before last, seeing what happened last year, like we just want to reach the heights of when they played Ipswich and try and go further. I mean, the talent in this group, we're capable of doing so. So I feel the sky's the limit. Oh, Richard, obviously at this sort of level, a lot of, a lot of focus will be on development. Do you think going far in a competition like this again is going to really help the development? Yeah, I think it definitely does because part of the development for us is to progress them towards our first team. And competitions like this where there is pressure, it's knockout, it's a type of environment whereby they're going to be expected to meet those challenges when they get into our first team. So this is just one more step along their development and their journey uh, to becoming aspiring professionals uh, and ready to, when they get to our first team, hopefully make an impact. And you mentioned the first team there, I'll come to you again, Rhys. You see players like Maxwell Mullins, mm. Tommy Willard in the first team week in, week out now. Does that kind of like, do you look at those players in the academy? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, it's always good to have um, people you look up to, especially that they've come from where we've come from. It's inspiring and it's inspiring to see them in the squad because it shows that there is a pathway and it's just it's just promising for the boys, promising for us to be able to break through and whenever it happens, we just got to make sure we take our chance like those boys did. Well, obviously, hopefully, we all hope you get that chance one day. We'll just ask you what you can offer the shots, man, if you get there one day. Um, I'm, a, I'm a hard-working midfielder. Uh, I lead, I work hard, I fight, like, whatever happens and I'll just try, you know, do the best I can in every situation.